Have you ever seen someone and thought, wow, she looks so good and put together. What's her secret? Well, if you said yes to that question, then you've come to the right place. Hi, I'm Polly G and welcome to Fashion With Me. My channel focuses on makeup and fashion and how to always look your best and put together. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you the secret on how to do just that. Are you ready? Let's get started. Now, one of the biggest mistakes that I see that women do is that they treat their makeup and their outfit as two separate things. I see women that have beautiful makeup and you can tell they put a lot of work and effort into doing their makeup and the same with their outfit. They have a beautiful outfit on, you can tell they put a lot of effort into putting their outfit together, but when they put the two together, they don't work. And the reason that it doesn't work is because the colors in their makeup clashes with the colors that are in their outfit. Because again, they were treating the makeup and the outfit as two separate things. So the secret to always looking your best and put together is to always make sure that your makeup complements and goes well with your outfit. So how do we achieve this? Well, when I talk about makeup, I'm basically talking about eyeshadow, blush, and lipstick because the eyeshadow, blush, and lipstick is where you have the most color options. When it comes to the rest of your makeup, your foundation, your concealer, any bronzer that you use, your mascara, all of those items are pretty basic and those are colors and items that you're going to be using all the time depending on your skin tone. So I'm not talking about that part of your makeup. I'm only talking about the colors that you choose for your eyeshadow blush and lipstick which are going to determine your overall makeup look. I'm going to show you an example of what I'm talking about but before I do that I just want to mention that we all have different skin tones and different undertones so what may look good on me may not look as good on you depending on what your skin's tone is. My skin's undertone is neutral so it's very important for you to know what your skin's undertone is in order to choose the colors that are going to work best for you. Now, if you're not sure what your skin's undertone is and you're not sure what colors look best on you, I have a whole video explaining the different undertones and what works best with those undertones in order for you to achieve the best results. So if you haven't seen it and would like to check it out, I'll have it linked down in the description box below. Okay, so here is an example of what works and what doesn't work on me. In this photo, I am wearing an orange colored top with pink lipstick. And the eyeshadow blush and lipstick I am wearing also have some pink tones in them. In this next photo, I am wearing the same orange top, but with a bronze colored lipstick and bronze colored eyeshadow and blush. See how much better the bronze makeup looks with the orange top compared to the pink makeup with the orange top? It really does help pull the whole look together. In this next photo, I am wearing a black velvet blazer and a black sequence top. Because the black sequence top leans a little gray when the light hits it, I chose a taupish gray color for my eyeshadow. And because purple goes really well with gray and black, I paired it with an amethyst color lipstick and a plum colored blush. This color combination works really well with my skin tone and also complements the outfit perfectly without being too matchy. Now in this photo, I am wearing a tan sweater, which is an earth tone color. So for my makeup, I am also wearing earth tone colors. For my eyeshadow, I am wearing a combination of deep golds, greens, and rust colors, and my blush and lipstick are also in earth tone colors in different shades of brown. And in this last photo, I am wearing more of a monochromatic look. As you can see, I am wearing a lilac colored top, and the makeup is all in the lilac family. It's not completely lilac, but the eyeshadow, blush, and lipstick all have a purplish lilac color to it. Again, not only does this makeup go really well with my skin tone, but it also complements the lilac top really well. So how do you know what colors to choose for your makeup? Well, the same concept applies when choosing your makeup as it does when you are choosing your outfit. Most likely when you were putting your outfit together and picking out your outfit, you were thinking about the weather, what time of year it was. You were thinking about, um, am I going to be wearing this outfit during the day or am I going to be wearing this outfit at evening? Is it going to be a little bit more dressy or a little bit more casual? So all the thoughts that go into picking out your outfit and what you're going to wear for your outfit 
all those same thoughts need to go into what you are going to choose for your makeup. So once you've determined that this is a day look or an evening look or how heavy you want to go or how light you want to go, now it's time to start figuring out what colors you're going to choose to wear with that outfit. And I find that the best way to do that is to put your makeup right up against the items that you are planning on wearing to see what colors are going to work best with that outfit. Now here's an example of what I am wearing. I am wearing this top that has multiple colors in it. It has blues and yellows and uh, corals in it. So I've already decided that the color that I wanted to uh, bring out the most with wearing this top was the coral color. And I wanted that to be in my lipstick and in my blush. Your lipstick and your blush should always be in the same tone or the same shade when you're deciding on your lipstick and your blush. And the lipstick and your blush can also be the same color that is in your top. You don't want it to be too matchy-matchy, but especially when you're wearing a pattern like I am, it's, it's okay to pull from the pattern colors and complement the top with the blush and the lipstick colors. Now, you don't really want to do that as much with your eyeshadow, but we can get into that a little bit later. What I want to stress is that in order to pull from your outfit, you want to find colors that are either going to be the same or complement. So in this case, like I said, I'm wearing the coral lipstick and I chose this coral blush that work really well together with this top. Now, because the coral colors that I chose to wear for my blush and lipstick are on the bright side, I do not want to go so bright with my eyeshadow. So I'm sticking with a very neutral palette for my eyeshadow and that will not distract or clash or take away from the other colors that I have going on. That is really the key, how to tie your makeup in with your outfit because you want it to work together, but you don't want it to overpower and you don't want it to be too matchy-matchy. So here is another example of where I am wearing a, a little bit of a brighter lipstick and a brighter blush and I'm also wearing pinks in my eyeshadow and I have several options of pinks that I could wear with this top that has multiple colors in it of pink but I have to be careful because if I go too pink then again it's going to be too much too matchy matchy and it's not going to work so I'm going to still stay in the pink family but I'm going to keep it a little bit more subtle and I'm a little more subdued and that's how it's going to tie the whole look together now, if you're wearing a solid color, like for instance, in this blue shirt, this blue top, you could wear a few different colors with. You could definitely do pinks with it. You could do reds with it. You could do corals with it. You can just do basic nude color with it. So you have a lot of color options if you were just wearing this plain colored top. And again, you have to decide where you're going, what the weather is, what time of year it is. Is it in the fall? Because you might want to go with more deeper colors if it's in the fall, or you may want to go with um, more brighter colors if it's in the summer. So all these factors have to come into play when you're deciding your makeup. So again, now that we're into a plain colored top, you can play around with your eyeshadow a little bit more because you don't have so much going on in your outfit. So you could use a few different palettes to wear it with this blue top and you could choose a few different colors for your blush and your lipstick. And for this yellow top, again, you would have different color options. You could go with bronzes if it's summertime. You could go with reds if it's more winter. If I was wearing this top in the summer and it is a summer top, I would lean more towards bronze colors. And this is the color combination that I would most likely wear if I was wearing this yellow top. Now, again, you have to pay attention to what your skin's undertone is. So if you are strictly cool, it's a little bit harder because you don't have as many options with colors to work with. But that doesn't mean that, that you still can't follow this technique. Most likely, if you are cool toned, then you have cool toned colors in your wardrobe. And those are the colors that, that were good on you. So those are the colors that you are going to wear most often. So when you're choosing makeup and buying your makeup, you're probably also staying in the cool tone family, which is what you should do if you have a cool undertone for your skin. You want to stay in that family and that way when you're choosing colors that go with your outfit it will all work together you want to make sure that when you're wearing cool tops 
that you're wearing cool shades of makeup and if you are wearing warm color tops you basically want to stick with warm color makeup but yes you can play around with it a little bit especially if you are neutral like i am you have a little bit more color options you don't have to stay strictly cool or strictly warm you can absolutely mix the two but you just have to do it the right way so now you can see how much of a difference it makes when you tie your makeup in with your outfit it really does pull the whole look together if you would like to see more ways how to coordinate your makeup with your outfit i will have links to some of my other videos where i show you how i coordinate my makeup with my outfit if you'd like to check those out i'll have them linked in the description box below i really hope you enjoyed this video i really hope you found it helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel also i have heard that a lot of people are being unsubscribed to people's channels without unsubscribing. For some reason, YouTube is just unsubscribing people and I don't know why that is happening. I don't know if it's a glitch or something. So if you are already subscribed to my channel, please make sure that you are still subscribed. And if you would like to subscribe to my channel, please do so. I greatly appreciate it. It really helps my channel grow and it really means a lot to me. Again, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. And in the meantime, as I always say, keep it classy, keep it stylish, and always be your best self. Bye.